Now, I'm a big believer in Beaver and Gage. Beaver and Gage used to be Yama, and Yama typically wasn't um, associated with tremendous success, success when Microsoft bought that platform, I believe, in 2014, 2015. Yama has turned into Beaver and Gage. It's had a massive change and in, in impact around engagement within the organization. Engagement is key. The ability to create a, a, and foster the idea and sense of community within your organization is critical in, in creating employee engagement and fostering um, a virtual community square where each one of us can share, learn, and grow together. So as part of Microsoft Viva Engage, Viva Engage basically connects people. The targets for Viva Engage are your communication departments, your leadership departments, HR, marketing, IT, and, and sales. And it can be used to basically strengthen employee relationships, build communities that support diverse shared interests and business initiatives. But it can also give your employees a voice and empower leaders to listen, learn, and engage with everyone. They can share their updates and experiences from their own perspective. Its integration with Teams is seamless, and the connectivity with Teams ensures basically a unified and streamlined experience. If you cast your mind back to one of those slides up, up regarding group creation. Now, when we look at the capabilities of Viva Engage, some some of the implementations we've looked at, the four key areas that um, we'll look to drive is basically your all company announcements, leadership corner, the idea of enabling project news for specific projects. And finally, my favorite is storylines and the association of something called Viva Engage topics, not to be confused with Viva topics. Mm -hmm.